Breaking news, folks. Seven people were shot. Seven people were shot right here. The gunman still on the loose. The gunman still on the loose. I uh, just happened around 6:30 yesterday afternoon. Down here at Utah and Mecca, they do have a, a police on the scene right now. In this car, they still they still have a police on the scene in this car right about here. Uh, it, you know, this area right here was um, locked down. This area right here was locked down. So, uh, and now we're going to go to the next councilmanic district. Right now, that's Christine Flowers and Woodrow. Once again, folks, uh, yesterday on this corner right here was, in this area, about seven people shot in Baltimore semi-automatic, uh, uh, Tech 9 or Tech 10. I don't know what it is, but I'm going I'm to get out right here and see what's happening, folks. So, let's see what's going on. They got a school right here. This building was locked down. You can get all that stuff up while you wait. Try not to throw nothing important away. They still have um, I mean it's a school right here. Good thing the school was out. All this was roped off. They got the the other tape right here. All this was roped off. This is the elementary school you know this was Monday right Monday 6.30 around 6.30 p.m. how you doing man okay. yellow tape right here uh, yellow tape so it was seven it? people shot right really yeah right here yesterday the Tech 9, the Tech 10, like a machine gun. See, oh, you could have been on a bus stop, man. Wow. It could have been no, I was in the house. Yeah, but you're on a bus stop today, though. You know? You never know. It wasn't your time. But seven people got hit. All right here. That's why all this tape right here. Oh, no, he might be. I'm looking at this crime scene. What happened right here? Seven people were shot yesterday. With, oh with a machine gun. And you coming right on the bus stop. Good thing you weren't here yesterday. yesterday. See, God is good, ain't he? Did they die? I don't know. They all in the hospital. What the fuck happened? What they... Right around here. The machine gun. That's why the police right there. Only That's why the police right there. 
You ain't see the news last night? Yeah, but damn right here. Yeah. Yeah, and the, and, and the government's still on the loose. The government's still on the use, loose. All right, folks, let me get over here and talk to Miss Flowers here. While I see what's going on, what's on her agenda. That young man, and y'all see liars come on the scene. Like you jumping? I'm You're trying to keep people jumping, and we want people to know what that they jumping. Throw them dollars in that cash app. I don't care if it's one dollar. Right. I seen you had a lot of thousands of viewers too. Well, when I went off yesterday, it was over ten thousand. Now it's up to twenty thousand. I'm gonna piggyback and talk before that's we take y'all to the action. Yeah. See, we're gonna take it before we take them up there with the lights and the cameras and the action. Right. We're going to keep them down here for a minute. Okay. Until everybody get on the scene. Right. So you got to make sure you tell your friends. Uh-huh. To make sure y'all cash out that dollar to lie the celebrity cab driver. We know the dollar has to be the dollar, but it's 12,000 of y'all or 10,000 of y'all that's watching. But let me get back to what I'm going to give. I'm going to give Lai a real upcat. I started up there at the Freddie Gray Center because uh -huh. we got to start looking back at our history of how people disappoint us when we get caught up in political initiatives. That was Empowerment Temple, the money we put in that building up there, all the church up there put money in that building. Mm -hmm. And the next thing we know, the building was sold, and we couldn't even get no help or work to do in that building. So it was a plan for that building, and it disappointed a lot of people in this area. Is this the Freddie Gray area, and this is where a lot of money came at. But that building, how close to me, because I was a part of Empowerment Temple and put money in that building mm -hmm. and didn't realize the building was going to get sold. That was one church I feel like I want to go and ask for my tithes and offers back. But that was the backdrop. And then I just came down, Larry, and I wanted people to know that there's a lot of people was in my inbox like, I ain't see such and such, I ain't see such and such. You know how people be saying who they didn't see there, right? So mm -hmm. I'm thinking in my mind, we got 10 intersections, right? Look right. like one, two, three, four. All of that was blocked off, uh -huh. all up there. So we don't know who was up there. Right. Donald Trump could have been up there. Hillary could have been down here. Right. So we really can't go saying who wasn't here. Right. Because if somebody was up at that corner that was taped off, they probably stayed up there. Somebody could have been at that corner where the commissioner there was. Right. Then there was a crowd of brothers there. But what I said is, I seen somebody from all of our groups. I saw somebody from Cease Fire. I saw somebody from Safe Streets. I saw somebody from the 10K men, including Larry Wallace, who was standing right there in front of the young men that was going off. But we know Larry Wallace's gift and talents. He the cameraman. He out here trying to make sure he bring y'all what y'all need so y'all can support him. He holding the camera. Live video was close and up front to the young boys. What did you see happening to the police officers, Larry? They was disrespected. Yeah. They was spitting their face. Mm. The boy kept putting his hand in his dip. Like, you know, the, the police was traumatized. Yes, he was. Yesterday. And we sat here and watched that for about, what, 20, 30 minutes, Larry? Yes. And ain't nobody do nothing. Nope. To Nobody engage engaged. that young man. You're right. The Your police point. should not have to be subjected to that type of trauma. Right. When we got millions of dollars in the city of Baltimore that's being distributed through nonprofits and organizations that's supposed to be present, present when stuff like this is going down. Like y'all can walk right around on. Baltimore City that's all right. the time. But if y'all don't have no connection, the 10K men, the seats fire, the safe, if y'all don't have no connection to be on the scene to engage 
and demonstrate the stuff that y'all receiving grant money, funding, support, people donating. If y'all not getting the resources that y'all need to be able to be here in action when trauma is taking place, like that little boy should have been engaged. Some of these brothers, even the brother next to me, he said he walked with y'all. You see how he was right there? None of them would want to engage that young man. The main target in all of this chaos yesterday, even after the shooting, was these four young people that was traumatizing the police. And no one that was a standby or watching or just out here being an observer would engage that young man. Right. Why not? Why is it not something on the scene to where you could have walked to that young man, that man hey, you know. I'm here to mediate for you. Right. How can I mediate this situation for you? Right. Not worry about the police. Right. Not worry about how he acted. Right. But for, but, but for y'all to be getting all of this professional money right. and getting all of this grant money, yeah. we got to start asking. We, we right. got to start asking. Okay. Because we the one out here right. suffering, traumatized, um, sacrificing our family, our time, our money. We out here to be connected to things that sometimes I didn't even want to be a part of last night. Uh -huh. I didn't want you dragging me on the crime scene. I wanted to go check on my homeless people and mind my business. Right. Sometimes I want to stay in my lane. So we have to try to understand, and, and, and I'm glad we got Dr. Humphrey coming on the scene, because I call trauma out today. Right. And when I call people, I call people that I didn't trust my spirit with. That's the difference when you have relationships. You got to have those people that you can trust your spirit with. And long as he ain't coughing, he ain't got a fever, he ain't sick, I'm going to give him a big hug. Yes, That's what I'm going to do. All right? So um, I want us to recap on some of this, but we really going to talk about the trauma because, again, um, last night's experience was an experience that my eyes saw and I witnessed it, Larry. And it's like what those police officers had to go through is the root and the core of our problem. It's the root and the core of why our young black men don't have the respect nor the ability to engage or communicate to our officers because the other men were standing back watching because of fear. That's just like this coronavirus. They want us to have fear. They want y'all to be fearful to be, even be out here on the corner right now. Mm -hmm. right. If you ain't coughing, you ain't sick, you ain't barking, you ain't got a fever, then I understand you not being here. Other than that, we can do social distance, we can do whatever you feel, but we can't have fear in Baltimore City right now, and we can't have our young youth conducting themselves in such a way that could get them shot. Right, and like, I was getting ready to say that. That could get them shot. You know, the way they was doing, they wasn't get out the yellow tape. They was pushing the tape. They could have went They was tail. being disrespectful. They could have got shot. They was off the Everything. chain. And somewhere along the way, right. we had men that were standing around that were part of some of these groups, right. that were part of some of the solutions that some of we the people, I'm not putting people names on this, I'm not saying one individual name. I did name the groups and the establishments because it's all about demonstrating the things that you're practicing, Larry. If y'all practicing building an empire of 10,000 men, then let us feel 300 of them on the street. Let us feel them on the street so that our young black sons, nephews, don't have to position themselves to feel disengaged. To me, just like the homeless people, they feel disengaged. Engagement is a very important key component to solutions. Engagement is taking the first step, even when you feel fearful. Everybody standing around felt fearful of that young man. Even Larry wouldn't even try to talk to him. But Larry is the cameraman. Well, Why is the cameraman? Well, you know, I could have talked to him. And the cameraman. I, I could have talked to him, 
but it, it's like they was like telling us not to come in the yellow tape and all and that. And they went in the yellow tape. But but they couldn't even get them out the yellow tape. I believe somebody yeah. was going to get shot yeah, or killed. Yeah, tape. we couldn't. It was a lot of youth out there, and the police was trying to get well, them out. Well, it was and they four wasn't particular listening. youth. They wasn't, they and wasn't the four particular out. youth. But we going to catch, we going to, um, We got Dr. Humphrey on the scene now. Yeah, Dr. So y'all Humphrey, know me, like I said. When I trauma call, I call for the root of the core, so. That's trauma response. But I also, I also call with a challenge, Dr. Humphrey, because being on the scene last night and then being socially connected to the riffraff and the things in this city. Remember I told you this morning I won't put no name or nothing? But I am naming certain establishments and certain groups because I was standing here, I was standing there. I was on about five different corners. I don't know who was up there. Donald Trump could have been up there. You know, so I can't sit back and say who wasn't here. Dr. Leaf just called me. You know, so I'm sitting here and I'm trying to figure out, instead of people with all the negativity, first we looking at this young guy. When we first got on the scene, he was off the chain. It was four of them little girlfriends were good with them. And I stood here and I was, um, I seen familiar faces. So I could name these groups. I saw somebody from Seeds Fire later on. I don't know if they've been here. I saw somebody from Safe Street. I saw 10K men. Even Larry is a 10K man. You a 10K man. <laughs> but I know the 10K man, the root of core, the root and the core of that is coming out of the mayor's office of City Hall. And I have to identify that because... What's your, what's your concern? My concern is, if we're going to see demonstration of even the police being traumatized and no engagement from no entities, nobody was willing to approach that young man. Right. You know, even in my mind when I thought of it, I knew the offense was, it was, I was looking at the point, it was so many brothers already around. Right. But we pull out so much publicly demonstrations on what we're doing in the community. Mm -hmm. Trauma response, there's money here. Cease fire, there's money there. That's true. Uh, Safe Street, there's money there. Uh, the 10K men, there's money there. I have to mention this because God say there's money here to heal this city. So I gotta start talking about where the money's at. Now, if I'm standing here, and I know it should be a first point of engagement because we are demonstrating it. We got the brothers out here walking when, on the street. Well, when you finish, we got the Dr. Humphrey. But when you finish, can I say something? Yeah, you can say a lot. We got the Dr. Humphrey trauma response. We got the Larry Wallace, 10,000 men standing there. We got the police and defense and could be fearful too. Because you got this little boy going in his dip, right. talking smack. How do we get everybody to the table to the point that one man is not controlling? I'm going to say one man. There's security Humphrey, right there walking and around. And I ain't going to say one man. I ain't going to say one man like that one man. I ain't putting no name on it. Mm -hmm. We got one entity controlling the circle of the money. Well, and we're not doing what needs well, to be done. Well, Sister Flava, first of all, let me say this. I commend you and Brother Wallace, the boots on the ground, foot soldiers. Um, I don't get involved with what everybody else doing in their circle because I understand that people are making money off of other people's pain. There you go. And there Can will be... Can you repeat be that a, and let them know that? Well, people are making money, people off, making of other people's money pain. off of other people's pain. So the thing of it is, is that when I recognize people like you and Larry, those that I've been uh, very close in contact with that I've worked with for years, and I know that y'all have the passion. Here's the thing. Um, you called me out this morning. I'm going inside to address because they can't stop me. Um, I had an opportunity to sit on a platform. Uh, I was like you said, I don't have to name names, but we ain't got I name know, names. Well, I, that's what I'm saying it's not a point of naming names today. Any names that I name, that I, can, I can name publicly and privately. But the names are not important. But 
as long as the Baltimore, as long as uh, Police Commissioner Michael Harris has been in Baltimore, I never really had an opportunity to talk to him. And that and, can't uh, be so. No, no, let me finish. Yeah, so what can happened? Can you stand on the side, please? Because the um, the light so, is back in us. Oh, let me follow the camera, man. So what please. happened? He's a professional. Yeah, there you go. Light trying please. to turn us around. Oh, that's better. Yeah, there you so go. So what happened was. Um, we were at a uh, platform at uh, Councilman Pinkett's church, uh, uh, Harvest Ministry, and where Bishop Johnson uh, is the uh, bishop there. Well, Bishop Johnson had uh, have a long history of, of working with uh, Day of Hope with Malvin Russell and uh, uh, the, uh, the clergy. And I know his heart and I know his work, right? So the next day, we were walking, Larry was there in the march. And guess who walked right next to me? The commissioner. That's right. Yeah. He he yeah. told his security, "I'll call y'all when I need you." The circle. The circle. Uh, but, but see you see you put stigmas on. Yeah, the circle. It's, circle. No. it's gonna come around in the circle. No, I'm saying he told his security force, "When I need you, I'll call you." Yeah. But what I was impressed with, he knocked on doors in his regular clothes. He didn't have his uniform on. And he said to me, I know a lot of people are sleeping on what I'm doing because they want instant change. He said, I saw more, I've, I've witnessed more crime and more uh, uh, homicides in New Orleans than I have begun to witness in Baltimore. Mm. So people are not concerned about how much you know, but how much you care. And he said that he felt as though I have it on, I have it on uh Want to see it? Everybody, so, no, everybody so, was talking very so, highly about so, that. So like, let me, so let me finish. So yesterday when I showed up, he was getting out the car. Now, he could have said to me, you know, I, I don't want you going on the crime scene. I don't want you going under the tape. But he didn't. This so, is the, oh yeah. This was yesterday last night. when you, yeah, I got night. I got him. Yeah, you was on the news. Yeah, I got him last night. Well, I try to stay off the news. Oh, last now. night. Oh, yeah, oh, this after we left. Yeah. I don't know, because okay. the no, commissioner, no. he you no, got him he when he come out no, the door. They was on different corners, because right. he was oh, up there right. for a while. Okay. So, we, yeah. so my point yeah. is, yeah. is that I thought for a long time that he didn't know who I was and the work that I was doing. He said, I'm very much familiar with you. He said, I think he's familiar with everybody. But what I'm saying is that he's leaving it up to me, not speaking for the commissioner Michael Harrison, that me reaching out and interacting with the community and helping the people heal. Okay, John Hopkins is shut down right now. We can't go mm. in. So, yeah, homeless services is too. Yeah, I know so a lot I have of to be out radio here. station too. Yep. Right. Radio I have to be too. out here Government to do state. everything, right? So, to answer your question, what's going to have to happen is that all those people that you saw at my training who have a passion, <laughs> she got by who have a passion to want to do this work. God don't need a whole lot of people, but he just needs the right people. Yeah. So I'm connected with those who want to see the city heal. And I didn't know uh, Councilman Pinky was a minister. I don't know. Did you know he was a minister? Yeah. Okay, so. But don't you think it could heal? And I hear everything you're saying, Dr. Humphrey. But don't you think it could heal at a place of recovery when there's so many entities so many of us. Well, we don't, well, we're not focused. Like, this is what I'm saying. And, and it's not to say we're not focused. That's not, just like me. No, listen. But, I'm not focused on but, certain entities. But see, when I'm trying to give you something, you never let me finish. Oh. I'm trying to I'm trying to give it to you. Raw, uh, uh, straight, no chasing. Right? These people that want to help, when you don't know how to help, you know, I live this, this is personal to me. For what happened to my son? You lived Everything it. is personal, and some things no. is sacrificial. Well, but the, some things is personal. Listen, some things is you, sacrificial. You know more like than, I would never stand and take a picture with Mayor Young. That's that would be well, totally. Let's not talk, well, that's let's, totally let's, against my thoughts and morals right let's now. Let's not talk about. But some people would do that. Well, I'm not going to stand and take a picture with him because I feel the effect of what he do hey, with, okay. with his works is to other people. So what, what, I don't is take Young, the what does I don't Mayor Young take, have to do with what we're I, doing? What, what I'm talking about is we have to agree to disagree because at the same time, I don't want to ever make excuses for what's happening. I'm not making up no excuses. Nor what happened right here last night because it's like 
These things are preventable. If we got 10,000 men, we got ceasefire, we got safe streets, we got organizations that are here, we got the trauma. If everybody come to the table, things can be solved. But when we got everybody set in their own place, and I say that out of mad love for the mayor. I tell him all the time when I see him, I usually be there instead of here. But I can't take a picture with him because it, I just know it's a political effect. Now, if we were somewhere and I took a picture, and I, I used to post pictures with him all the time, but it's not my place in my spirit to stand and take a picture with him. Well, first of all, everybody is not going to come to the table. Everybody's not. This table, this table. The table is not that everybody's not going to come. Everybody's not going to welcome everybody to the table. But if you know more than what Holy I'm trying to share Holy how you doing this morning? Then what's Good the morning. sense of me standing here talking to you? Because I want to talk about the trauma. I'm getting ready. What, Every what time I try done? to tell you, you keep cutting me off. Because it's about an answer. What could be I'm done? I'm trying to give you the answer, but you're not listening. Okay. What can be done? Well, first of all, everybody. That, uh, that we can this, engage. Because I could be, this is why it's different. Because my fight comes from the homeless part of it. Why we can't engage these people? Why we just can't get these people off the street? Why we can't put them in one building of 10 empty ones? Now it's trickling to this point. Why everybody got to make excuses That's not the for how we plan. do things? I keep saying well, that. So saying, when are we going to identify? You just made the big point. It's not the system plan to resolve our black problems. It's not the system plan to fix our squeegee kids, our homelessness, our traumatized youth. It's not the system plan. And I love the ground you walk on and you know that. But when we do the system way of things, we still have to learn to welcome the right people to the table or we're going to be going in a circle with the system and everybody's still going to be hurting. That's why ain't nobody go to approach that boy last night, not even the police, because he was doing, you don't know, the police don't know what he about to do. Are you scratching? You want to pull out something? That boy should have, could have been what shot last he night. Where does he live? He they live? was living in there. You going in? Let's follow you in, cause you say you going in anyway. We'll be your shadow today, cause you know we ain't going. We ain't going hard at this, Doctor Humphrey. We gonna go hard and go home. I try to give you the answers. All the people you named, where they at this morning? They ain't gotta be here, but I'm saying, guess what? You here though. See, being being a radical, I done been down that road. And you know, you keep naming people. I, I operate. I didn't name people. No, I wasn't saying, naming people today. But I'm saying I operate in the spirit. But I wasn't naming people today. But I'm today. saying all these things that you're naming, I don't need them people. We. All I need is God. We, no, I, no, God. God. God first. No, I don't I don't need those people. I always we listen. Need you keep that. No, God. I didn't we say me. God. God put people together in his time. I ain't going to fuss with him. I ain't fussing with him because I love him. I see you right I ain't going to fuss with him. I'm going to let him have his last word. No, I, I That's came what I to listen. Do. I came to listen. You called me this morning. I told you. I did. I'm here. You're listening. Okay. Thank I'm you. I'm here. Yes, I'm not sir. giving the count uh, of Thank making excuses to nobody you. else. I love you too. I love you too. Yeah. I love you too. Yeah. 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 But I'm saying, you got to you gotta learn to listen. God is the answer, not man. God has to use us. We're just usable vessels. We're just usable vessels. I think we just passed it. I think we changed the swag. It's the old. Do you know where the guy live at? They live in the building. You know? You know what but it's, it's all over. Everybody know what it is. Y'all saw the, y'all saw the, um, Go directly to the apartment, to that apartment, no lottery. Yeah, so do ask. Do, do we do we need to go to the um, office yeah, complex? Go office? Well, I don't know where you live at. Well, I gotta find out where you live. All right. How, How you doing? doing? How y'all doing? All right. Yeah, I'm the chief of the trauma response team, and, and I found out uh, this morning that a lot of people uh, traumatized about some things that happened last night. Yeah, you just walked in the front door.
go right here. Speak to the man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, he's been giving information to me. Okay, thank you. Six o'clock. No, yeah. they don't get off because we had 24 security. Okay. 24 hours. So yeah. that's what happened. As soon as they went off for a break. Yeah. Oh, 24 hours. Yeah, because somebody did say, like, the, the, the guy say, um, what you calling them? Just they named one of the names. Um, it's left the building. Yeah. So they did that as soon as the real security had left. Yeah. Oh, they got real and, and real mm -hmm. arm. They and got and arm security. Yes. I just seen so the guys. arm security left, and then that's when it happened. Yeah. Community up in there. Yeah. That part, that and the ones that was out there current on probably didn't even live here. <laughs> you know, there's four of them out there current on with the police. Oh wow. They carried on terrible. Like literally, the police could not get a word in. The boy was dipping and cussing and fussing. I need to get up in my house. Yeah. I said he probably don't even live up in there. Up in there right. residence of mine. Right. But it don't be too many, too much of that going on around here, is it? Mm -mm. Now all the people that I, well, got I, shot. I've only been here for like six months. Six months? Yeah, well, they say right. seven folks got shot. And the police, I guess, no, he didn't. He got injured. Uh, That's why I was like, it's changed up over here. It's a gate on the back side back there, too. Yeah, it's, it's, you can't. It's only one way in, one way out. Oh, one way in, one way out. It Dang, is. They don't pull me like that. They pull me, no. uh, they pull me a security exit. Yeah, it, it used to be. They just took the gate down. For real? Yeah, they just took it down last month. It's probably a security. So they real like, like, is it a special condition to get in this building or something? Or they condition or just like vouchers and section like A that. and stuff like that? So they so they just in a strut, I guess because of the history of the Because all this we done, ain't it? One way in, one way out. Mm. And that was supposed to be one way in, one way out, folks. That's it. So when you come in, you go to that house. Wherever you want to go, where we got different apartments. Easy access. Mm -hmm. So there's no restrictive of where you're going at. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're able to have their own company, their own friends. We need a guest. The only thing we probably would need different is a guest monitor list. Like we probably would need to have somebody at the front gate so people can sign in. Right. Because we are dealing with homeless people. We're bringing them straight out of the woods, sister. Stick with me. We bringing Billy Bob that been back there 25 years. And he think it's okay to stay in the woods and burn wood and eat from the trees. But we're going to bring him into something normal, right? So look, how you, you you see where I'm at? So this could be like upon entry, you sign in and say where you're going. That probably be the only, because it's all wrapped around, right? All the way around. Come here, Father. Like 200. Wow. This is like my vision for a, for a homeless community. 
But the only thing different is I would need people need to sign. He said, there you go. Hey, for real? Are they going to tear this down? Oh, we don't need them to tear this down. Can you tell them to give it to yeah, the flowers? Who I need to talk to? We're not giving it to nobody. It's people that own it. <laughs> Charlie, we need to talk to them. What are you at? I need to see them. Thank you. Dr. Humphrey, they said they agree tear this building down. Can you get it for me, please? I'm about to get on a whole nother subject. We need this building yes. for homeless people. They rebuild the home. And they going to tear all these down? Building, they're putting them new builds. Brand new. The coordinators on the way. They don't need to talk to. So, do you, do you realize this is a one entry building? It's all secure and wrapped around. Only thing different, you ain't got to sign in to go see people. So, are you talking about getting the building down? Or are you talking yeah. about. Oh, y'all know I'm just a homeless advocate. Y'all drag me into all those other stuff. I drag you into it. Though. You see my shirt? I'm teaching. I keep telling them. Uh, it's a Let me give you my car, girl. You my visionary. I ain't playing with him. I told them they dragged me into this other stuff. Homicides and crimes. Homelessness. That's my bad. Dr. Humphrey. Yeah, the lady says she be in 20 minutes. Okay, so you, where you going? Are you going somewhere and no, coming back? Well, you can talk to the officer coming at you right now. You know? He ain't coming to talk to me. Oh. You know they don't talk to me. Yeah, police commission is getting out of the door. I think. Well, I got a picture. Can you turn it off for a minute? Just for a second. Hold on. All right, folks, we're here live here at Utah and Mecca. How many people shot? Seven people shot? Uh, two of them walked into the emergency room. I know. And they had a Tech 9. That's a military gun or a machine gun? <laughs> you get ready to show me something? No. I'm saying. All right, I'm back to reality. All right. Let me tell you one thing. Pray for me. No, listen to me. Her is rolling, too. I'm 63 years old. That's fine. It's oh, all right. Yeah. Go ahead. And uh, every time you know, people try to get with Jesus and the crowd, right? they had okay. to fight. Thank you, Judge. Let me know where you got to go. Okay. okay. They, 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 they know you were going to be here. Oh. I mean, you need to go get a couple of more. It's two blades and one. No, you said couple of what? Donuts. You want to do that? Stop moving. Sure, I'll take one. Open it up. You open it up. I ain't just serving. You're so funny. I'm sorry. She, no, she like the pick with me. <laughs> <She> like, <laughs> yeah. He's trauma response. <laughs> and I need him to get on board with me. Right. And once again, folks, seven people were shot, two walked into the emergency room. Um, we're down here at the Meccan in Utah. they waiting on a director for this building to come. they waiting on the big lady to come. I'll be back with more to come, folks. I want y'all to share this video. Share, share, share. Let me read my comments before I go off. Black people need to start building each other up. Uh, black people need to be jealous of each other. Just say, come together and love and not hate each other. And uh, Robert Wolf said, you are not media. I'm not the media. Why are you watching? I mean, you're watching what I'm doing, so tell me the definition of being the media, Robert Wolf. You are not the media. That's why I be having 50,000 people viewing my stuff, 70, 80,000 people viewing my stuff, home on a couch. Uh, what do the media do? Don't hate the game. Don't hate the player. Robert Wolf said I'm not the media. You got to tell it to all my main views, Robert. You got to tell them I'm not the media. Robert Wolf said I'm not the media, y'all. I got you, brother. You the first one said that, man. Out of a million people, you the first one said it. You know, my maters, my haters. 
keep me motivated. So keep hating, Robert. Let me move on to Miss Jackson. All right, Wendy Rice, what's going on, Wendy? Miss Wendy, what, what you got for us? There are a lot of crazy people out here. Scared because of the virus that leaves the world is coming to an end. They feel like they're going to shoot up the world. And it's sad this gunman is still out there. Yeah, they haven't caught him yet. They haven't caught him yet. I don't see no cameras out here. No, um, I'm glad you said that because there's no, no cameras. On the corner. Let me see. Nope. Nope. I don't see no camera. Wait a minute. Uh, mm, I don't know. It's strange. I'm glad you're telling me this because I don't see any um, camera. No. Maybe I might see one. Hold up. Maybe I might see one. Let me see if I see one camera. So I think that's a that's a camera to this gate right here. That's just shining right down here at this gate. So if I see this this camera shine at this gate. If it happened down there, y'all missed it. Ah, boy. No cameras, no cameras, no cameras. It's a school car to speak, folks, by the way. And, uh, no cameras. I don't see no cameras, so the investigation pieces um we might got greater danger plan I'm not investigating neither so so what's going on let me see what else on here uh, we need more youth leaders we do need more youth leaders to engage when them youth be fussing at the cops and not paying attention so you if Y'all hear me. I encourage y'all to listen to the authority. You know, yellow tape mean you cannot go cross. Yellow tape mean you cannot go cross. I mean, you want to keep yourself out of jail. You want to keep yourself um, out of jail. You want to keep yourself out of jail because you can go to prison for crossing the yellow tape. You can't even find out. Hello. Hello. All right. You can't even find out that the media can't even go across yellow tape. They say stay out of yellow tape, stay out of yellow tape. And then you want to fuss at the cops and call them names and all that. The cops could have locked y'all up. And then you had to stay in jail. You know? You got to stay in jail. <sighs> And go to court, then all your, you know, then you on probation, you might violate it. So, you know, somebody can support me. I can talk to you, you know, talk, give me, put me on a payroll. Who I want to put me on a payroll, I talk to you, and engage and talk to them, you know. But it's a lot of people who are already on payroll needed to be coming to crime scenes when people get shot and all that. You know, put me on the pay raise. I'm already at crime scene. Y'all want me to engage, you know. Put me, I'm making no money, zero. I come down on crime scenes on E, no gas. So for me to do the job for, that people getting paid to do, you know, show some love, spread some love. I wouldn't mind to engage and talk to the youth. I know how to do it. 
trust and believe. I know how to tell you, hey man, don't worry about it, brother. It ain't worth going to jail. It ain't worth getting shot. It ain't worth getting killed. Your family love you. You got your daughter, you got your son to raise. Come on, man. You know, you know how to talk to people. But a lot of people are already getting paid to mediate such things. And they don't need to be out. Or if they out, they ain't even doing what they supposed to do. So, I'm just saying. The leaders start from not just cop people, people on cops to save everything. But it starts from community first. That's right. That's right, Miss Jackson. You the other media kid like you do. The answer is hell no. Better so-called leaders in City Hall and Police Department. See, I'm glad that y'all see that. I'm glad that you see that. I'm, I'm so glad that that you see what you see. Hello. So, some people recognize me. But, huh? That guy in the coat from, from the trauma response team. Yeah. Y'all going y'all going to trauma around here? Huh? You you having trauma? Um, probably. Go talk to him. Come on. No, I'm All right, tell, tell me what kind of trauma you having. I'm going live. I don't no, look, it's on the ground. It ain't not at you. I'm good. You good? Well, well let, me, let me turn it off. Hold up. Come. They not on live. Uh, what you gonna be Hold up. Here's my card. Look. See, my name is Larry Wallace, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a director of trauma for homelessness. I deal with trauma for homeless people. I go in the woods and all that. But the guy in the, in the brown coat, he the trauma response. He like somebody um, got killed or shot and all that. Need to be relocated, stuff like that. You know, they can, they can help you with all kinds of stuff. Okay. Finance all the way to uh, move, relocation okay. and all. Thank you. All right. His name is the guy that had? Yeah, I see. Yeah, go talk to him if you got to talk. All right? Thank you. All right. Um, Dr. Humphrey. Dr. Humphrey. Talk to the lady, man. The lady got trauma. Yeah, I told her to talk to you. Talk to her and ask her what's going on. I got to get you stuff. Come on, tell her. A lot of people down here were traumatized. I told you she was trauma. I know, but she got trauma. That's why she walked like that. Oh, no time is it? I got called out young at 10.30. For real? Yes, we got stuff to do. I need to get up on that show. You got called in? You can't go on the show. We got trauma. That's why she keep watching you. I'm There's about a hundred people traumatized down here. I'm waiting for the lady that makes decisions. I got to be in order before I go up in there. I can't talk to the people, man. No, they coming out to you since they know you. still can't. What's the number? We doing another one. You still can't do that. Oh, well, they coming to me talking about how can I help them. I can send them to you. That's what I did. Why you can't I'm just saying, people is coming running to me. Yeah, if they come to you, I... Okay, if they come to me, I'm going to tell them. All right. Hey, look, that's what's wrong when I'm telling you. Oh, don't we do that. We got to stay in that lane. Don't say no name. You got your lane, you got your, 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 your lane, and I got my lane. I stay to my lane. I'm in my lane, that's why I sent them to you. Okay. And they come to you. And if they homeless, I'm going to send them to her. There you go. Tell me to get them. I tell them to give me the number. What number? Tell them to get me the number. Maybe he's gonna give me to get some food. 
People are traumatized down here, folks. So we got Dr. Andre Humphrey. He um talking to people they traumatized. So, so anybody traumatized down here because seven people were shot. And we got the trauma response team down here. So We got one trauma response team lady talking to somebody. And uh, how you doing, miss? You, you, you good? Yeah, good? What's your dog name? Chloe. Chloe, you yeah. live here too? I live up here. You heard about what happened? No, what happened? You didn't hear about yesterday? The seven shoot? Yeah. That was here? Yeah. No, I didn't know. You didn't see all that yellow tape around? Right? All oh, this was locked up. Oh, damn. They got, you know, machine guns and stuff. The, the gun oh. is still on the loose. Oh. That's what Lord. I'm trying to say, you all right? You're all right, cold. I'm good. I'm well, don't be, don't be afraid, you all right? Nah, it's all right. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a doming? Yeah. Is it Whoever did it is probably hiding out from there. That's what they said. No. Well, you all right, go. You get your exercise, man. Fine. All right. Before we get this quarantine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that. Oh, yeah, because you know we're going to be locked in. You heard about that, too? Yeah. How you hear about that? Because my, well, they're already locking in my family in Puerto Rico. After 6 o'clock, nobody's allowed to come out. Oh, that's in Puerto Rico? Yeah, same in Italy. So they're Italy? already doing small areas. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, they doing New Jersey, too, from 5 in the morning to 8 at night. Oh. It's already coming. All right. All right. Okay. All right, Italy and Puerto Rico is already locked down. They can't come out at the six. Italy and Puerto Rico. So let me go tell Miss Lowers that. I right, I want y'all to share this, folks. Share, share, share. Italy and Puerto Rico is is locked down. They can't come out at the six. All right, y'all know um, Puerto Rico and Italy is already locked down. They can't come out after six. I'm out in the community, so if I need to send somebody somewhere. Yes, yes. Puerto Rico and Italy is locked down. Puerto Rico and Italy, they can't come out after six. Oh. Puerto Rico. All right. And Italy. I'm going to lock your number. I'm going to lock your number and then I'm going to just text you you text me from it. I'm out here with um, seven people got shot at last night. So I'm gonna get focused and put this phone down. But I wanted to make sure since doctor. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm gonna lock you in. All right, be blessed. And be safe. Yeah, that girl said her family already locked down. She, oh. live, in, she live in Puerto Rico. The one came up here with that little dog. Uh huh. They can't come out after six. For real? Yeah. So she said she's getting her walk in before they lock us down. Lock this down? Well, they, yeah. You realize them. they can lock this place down right here at any time? Yeah. That's I know. why I want this building. Did you realize? Um. They got one way in and one, and way, one up. way out. That's a, that's we a, need this building. That's an emergency hazard anyway. Why is it an emergency hazard? Because you're supposed to have two exits. Every, everywhere. Well, maybe they have got two another exits. exit around here. It might be another gate open. But ain't nothing wrong with having a. This is like a combined community. <laughs> can y'all work with me while we can have a. All right, Dollar Sign Celebrity Cab. Dollar Sign Celebrity Cab. Go ahead and support the media. Support the media, folks. Support the media. If you, you know, somebody came on here and said, I'm not the media, but. Manageable. It's millions of people be watching me. Services, emergency support. I mean, when you go on, on news, right? When the news come out, like yesterday, I was out here for like two, three hours, right? The news was out here two, three hours. But. But when um, 
that came on the news yesterday. Seven people shot. You only seen one minute. And it's only one way. You seen three hours of my video. Larry say that's a hazard. Is it really? You think it's really a hazard? Talk to the people. Suppose you go on. Suppose you just trying to work and help homeless people or people that you want to be managed and supervised and triaged. If we bring somebody off the woods, we can have one building for the emergency building. That's intake. Then you got this building. You can do another part. One way out. Look at this. One way out. Look. One way out. Well, we can put an emergency. Yeah. It is emergency data for Where? sure. Where is that? Let me see. What's this you show name? me, and I'll get you a million dollars. You yeah, heard he this. Walk all the way around this you block. heard the lady say it's only one way in, one way out. She work here. They know where is that? Now maybe it should be an emergency. One way in, one way out. And some people in here drive. One right? way in, they drive in and drive out. One way in, one way out. Who no, agree or disagree? Okay. Wendy, with me? Wendy mean? Rice, don't this hold me like. Building. Don't it's probably always probably like another it's, way out. It's like um that's that's prison. That's like jail. Prison. It is jail. I can see it as being a transitional emergency support what? supportive housing program for homeless people. It's transitional. They ain't gotta live here forever. Well, how is so they could be here long enough to where they could get manageable. They could get stable. He's 90 years old. A 90 year old person gonna claim that fence? No, how I'm just saying get out? it's gonna be openness. I can say put other openings here. Okay. Got, we ain't got to have our fence right. like this. Okay. We can have like two other openings okay. for something. Should you got me really walking all the way around this block I, too. I need to show you. This is prison. Maybe it's like. Prison. Maybe it don't have to be. One way in, one way out. Be some Look at the houses over here. Like that little vacant house. Like we can move over in that house right there. That could be like the administrative headquarters over there. Right here? Hold up. Is that the same large? On the lodge down the street. Why some of these lodges? Is that the same? That's the lodge, right? Where does it say down the street? That's the Marriage of Legion. Where does it say down the street? 50? Y'all got some That's 1930. That's been there since 1930. What building is that, Larry? Right? That's it. That's the right there on that wall. Federal Post, number 19. So that's the Marriage of Legion. So does it look empty? No, they open. The Marriage of Legion. 1502, what street is this? If I can't find another gate open, what you think? Lonnie if I cannot said, find another way in there. Tawanda said keep the fence. Keep the fence. Keep the fence, yes. Thank you, Tawanda. Keep the fence. Who would your people say? Tawanda said keep the fence. I say keep the fence because we can be able to manage their recovery better. Well, we you can, can manage you have, we can manage their recovery. We can do that we can too. manage their stability. No, uh -uh. We can manage them. Oh, because we're not going to be mismanaging money. No. We're going to have the right type of individuals coming in. Two ways in, two ways accountability, out. Accountability, appointment setting. No. So it's transition. Two ways in, two ways out. I like no. that too, Tawanda. Thank Keep you. Your friends. If two of us Tawanda, you can go to Amos 3-3. And if two of us agree, then God can make it happen. See, this looks like it used to be an entrance over okay. here. Okay. Well, it's locked, though. No. It's locked. No, you got 20 people walking around here. Uh-huh. All of them walking around here. What's up with this trash right here? Look at that girl. All of them walking around here working today. See, this is ungrateful. If they didn't have a job, then they wouldn't have had one. I know. So I guess that could be really, really good. See, here going another thing. It's locked. What good is they it? They blocked it off. What good is it? So they took this fence right here. This only, this off. only, no, this only for the trash. So they took this. This was the other fence. This, I wonder why did they lock this other fence? This only for the dumpster. That's it. No, I wonder why. Like, this only for the dumpster. Is this like section A? No, it can't. Some people move in here. She said it's section A. It can't be one way in, one way out. Come on, follow me. 
No, that's just a dumpster. Yeah. It ain't no other gate. That's just for the dumpster. I think the dumpsters used to be over there that first. No, it don't go out. That's just a little cage for the think, dumpster. How you think they ain't coming over here? Right, so right, let me get, can we get some can we get some views and opinions? I am a homeless director, homeless advocate, Minister Flowers. So I see this type of fence as a way to manage and stabilize and triage our street homeless people. Because there's one way in and there's one way out. And if you bring in the right wraparound services, we can manage them more better. They'll be more assisted and easier to engage because we can monitor some of their comings and goings. So, Do you see this fence as they're going to feel like prison or just a way to help us to try to triage them and transition them to the next step? I guess it's how you saw it. And they ain't got to be here forever. That's what I'm saying, but how you saw it. I mean, and no, not the. Do it's supposed to be two ways in, two ways out, or one way in and one way out. But they ain't got to be sealed. Well, I know for um, fire code reasons, it should be too Hey, that's it. Case closed. He said for fire. He it's the... All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Finish up. I'm going to say for me, on this kind of work, when we do work in fine space, you need two ways. Need there you go. I told but you. But it's not confined. But I, if you're 100 years old, 98 years old, you can't claim the fence because you're too old. Right. They need another way out. Yeah. I would definitely provide more than one. See? Someone just got shot. Did this have a shooting? Seven people got shot. Machine gun. And the gunman's still on the loose. He's yeah, not back in. Where he at? 10 Mac. Hey, where he at? Didn't, 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 didn't the police shoot at him or something? Uh, the police they did. They did return fire, yes. Yeah. yeah, they probably shot the seven people. Yeah. yeah. The it was probably... only one police shooting, though. I know, yeah. so say, it was but, only one I'm police. Saying, but the, they said seven people were shot. Right. He's supposed to shot on the gunman, but he probably shot the people. Well, that's what I guess they're going to be investigating. Yeah, they're investigating. Because it was one police. He came up upon the scene yeah. and witnessed the Mac-10 holder shooting up a car. Ain't a no Mac-10 is a machine gun? Yes. Yeah, Army gun, right? Yeah. So he said that's what he seen. That's what he came up on the scene. What, and what he the thing? Fired no. the gun, the gun he opened fire But look, check this out. They couldn't run out this way, so they had to come out well, that way. So is this vacant now? No, they open. A lot so, of people living there. What did they do? To, I mean, hopping up this what are they doing now? Helping out mission. What helping out mission doing? What helping out mission got to do with this right here? No, oh, no, they build no. stuff like this all the time. So saying, what do they do? Helping out mission got some nice gate like this around things. They got that on bone machine, right? Well, yeah. she, she know where all the homeless people at. See, she, she the I'm homeless. I'm not to mention names today of other organizations, and yeah. I wouldn't be so strung out of my mind trying to find something. Because <laughs> if, if they were all doing the Helping Out Mission, the Catholic Charities, the United Way, the Al Daily Bread. Y'all got more masses in here? Y'all got extra masks? If they was doing it the way it should that, be doing it, yeah. I wouldn't be Thank up you, here. Thank you, man. Right? Nah, I right? God wouldn't do You got two of them in there? Appreciate you, buddy. What y'all doing? Lecture work? Hey, where can I go and buy some masks? Huh? There's only where, one where left. I, oh, for real? You go, oh. <laughs> Let me put it yeah, in you my... better hide that damn thing. Yeah. That shit's like gold. I know. You gonna get some more when you go back to work? To yeah, office? yeah. This is a good one, too, man. Yeah. Let me put that in my pocket. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah, no problem. Where y'all from? I'm from PA. PA? But uh, our, we do all Baltimore City work. Okay. That's good. But, uh, we're, we're located in Butler, Maryland. Okay. Right. Now, it... it a lot of people got to take off because of what's going on in the world? No, no, as of right now, no. Okay, that's good. But they suppose, they trying to tell everybody in different states, they, they got to be in the house at 6 o'clock at night off the street. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Like Italy and um, India and I think other places too. Yep. And New Jersey too, I think. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Well, yeah, he, he moved. He sort of got um, initiated up. There's another guy over there now. Man, got another man. Original job. Yeah. So we had to move the cable underground. Oh, the cable going underground. Yeah. Yeah. We work for the city too. But. For real? Yeah. Y'all contact me. Did you see? Y'all see no black workers over there? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They, lost, they, I, beat, they went way back.
Huh? You, you, you don't wear no white helmet. You do the supervisor, what right? What type of job? He's what type of job? He's supposed to have a white helmet on. It's in the trunk. Let me See, I know, I know you have. Yeah, he. Make sure you call my 365 yeah. number. I got plenty. Man, if you get, though, get one or two a job, it, that's good. It's hard to find. It's People hard. that can work and do this type of work, too. Yeah, when I started, he said, said he'll hire him. When I started with long hair driver's license, license. Yeah. and not a crazy record. And not a crazy record. I don't car. have no points on my life. In the car. Here's my number. He said, in the car. Yeah, you need a car. Let me be your, do you contribute to nonprofits? Let's make sure when you think about your Christmas giveaway. I put money in the narcotics basket to save my life. For real. Oh, Damn wow. It. Do it. Wow. You put money in the basket, he said. And and I, and I and I talk to people in hospitals and stuff like that. Wow, wow. he's a man. Oh, you wow. awesome. Wow, he's a man. He he walked into you the right no car. He don't and have no car. And we just wanted your opinion on the gate. See, everything has for a reason, right? Yeah. You gonna call him sometime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank like you. I'm saying, highly in the contract the company. If you knew anybody's got a decent record, a driver's license, a moment work. And how much do you pay an hour? It depends what they can do. Mm -hmm. They got experience. They oh, my two guys. I know. Did he bring them? What, no, oh, my saying. gosh. Andy and. They got spurs oh, and everything. Everything. No, the they drove they... truck and everything yeah, for the work they did. You need CDL drivers too. Please text me. So I want to give you. I want to make sure like, they come back. Sometimes you too. can get $30 an hour, $20, $10. It depends. My two guys. I need 30 myself. $30 an hour? Okay. I need 30 oh, Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Crazy. All right. There you go. Nari done made me discover. Look, like, I told him it was I got me a good man. Look, look, I got me a good man. You say, oh, go give me one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give you this one. Uh, Tag, that's the best one. That's the last one he had, too. No, he, he did. I guess I won't put one on that's the last one, Miss Flower. That's better than mine. Look, no, that is better than this. Look, okay, look, come here. Come here, Miss Flower. Come here, hold up. Look, look, I just gave Miss Flower the mask. Let me, look. This, look, look, look at that. Look at the front. And look at this. We got some you kids. deserve it, too. Aw, you deserve it. She, she deserve it. She got mad. I thank you for saying it like that. You deserve it. Huh? Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you think this yeah, is Yeah, we still here like, for last night. I'm trying to get a question answered about, I'm all in the midst of this stuff, too, but I'm a homeless advocate. And I'm like, do you think this is prison like to have this gate? You live in you feel more secure because I manageable that, that shooting would have happened in the inside with a playground at, where my kids could have been playing at. Wow, had that had this these gates started been up and they have armed security. Yeah, you know, they like, say the armed security guys just left, yeah, just walked yeah, off. But it, it's and still it a trap because most people know they be in there. You see yeah, what I'm it's still so a deterrent. Like, Eyes in the sky, it's deterrent. a deterrent. It's deterrent. still a deterrent. Like, so you're still going to think twice, like. Before you come up in there right. like that. You think all apartment complexes need to have that type of. Yeah, like, I was even I was even telling my girlfriend, like, we should even propose to him, like, we need to score them put a gate up. Access you the key card. Yeah, okay. Each, each resident, each door. Additional key card to somebody you may feel trustworthy, like so somebody like a grandmother, somebody yeah. you feel like should have one to it, and they can have it. Like, so I got twin sons, and I just felt like one of my sons. And they could have been outside playing. Right. Yeah. Do so you think, like, I got yeah. questions, I ain't going to, wow. don't you think that they need to? Two ways People out. Serious, two ways we out. got all this on the game. If, cool, it, if it's, cool the, if it's only in. one way, one way out, what if a fire break out? How are you going to get out if that way burning down? We had this talk all the way around the right. block. The, the, so you the, right in the middle of The gate is big enough. The gate is big enough. They have, they have the way where you can drive through your car and they have also a walkway. And they can open up over here if they want to. No. It's can't. open. No, that's the trash truck. But you can get out of it. Can't you walk around the car? It's a key because they have to unlock it. For the, for the dumpster to but come what through. if the person not here to unlock it? That's what I'm trying to say. I, think, I would think I like that they would be said. there 24-7 because yeah. if anything, you would give those to whoever on 24-hour security. That would be the logical thing to do. So whoever got 24-hour security would have that same key to open up. Is this a control? I said it was a deterrent because normally like apartment complex, of course they're going to be on up. whoever they know front and yeah. inside the building. Yeah. So those shots could have went anywhere. Yeah. But since they know it's armed security, they know they can't 
congregate like that in the inside. Like, so like they that. had to do it outside of the gate. Outside, you know, so outside of the gate. That's that where the police said they came like up that. and he was shooting. Oh, they were outside the gate. Outside yeah, the gate. Outside That's good to know. It was outside of the gate. Outside the gate. Outside the gate. People need to know that. Because he said his officer, the commissioner said his officer was walking and he came upon somebody shooting. Right. And that's when he jumped in and started, right. they started right. shooting. Outside yeah. the gate. That's why that man said, do y'all think this police, they don't even know if the police shot anybody yet. Yeah, because I was just getting off work. I just got paid this on the 12 hours. She found us. She and found us. I get off work, my homeboy dropped me off. And he like, where you at? I'm like, unfortunately, I'm right here with wow. all this stuff. And he like, real? I'm like, yeah, like, usually. And you couldn't get in. Did they let y'all yeah, like, in? No. By 8 o'clock, like I said, I did 12 hours. Let me see my card, because I'm also um, with them. They're the trauma response. Like, okay. y'all living here, and there's something wrong, or you need some help. Dr. Humphrey will make things happen down to a bag of pamphlets. So, I ain't going to tell you what not to say you need. So, <laughs> I just see them say, we're going to take some ice and pamphlets <laughs> to that crib. You know, so, you know, because y'all y'all going through stuff right now. You stuff and that's right. Y'all got kids in here. Got stuff shooting with them. Well, I, I just gave him my good mask. I think the oh, game is did. a good idea. Can you go ask some people in the white truck? I see a homeless, see a homeless okay. community. See them white sometimes. truck? They got some good ones. If anybody in that one, go to all of them. No, ask them guys. Tell them to give me about four masks. See that guy in that, in that hat? That Look, that hat right there? The, the, the gangster hat? Ask him. Tell them it's for us. Tell them it's for us. Tell them it's for us. To one, I'm gonna see. Yeah, but like I said, Jay, you gonna have to find a side then. Like you said, we have to put a little bit more security just for them. There you go. And they ain't gotta live in forever. You like this little tree here. And then you're going to see your next one. Okay. Miss Flowers got the good one. I gave it to her. I thought they had another one. They said that was the last time to talk to people about the, um, the building. No, we were out here with the trauma response team, too. You noticed where the seven people were shot last I night. I saw y'all. I was up So there. we was um, coming back around here. In the middle of the night, I recorded the, the um, end part, the 27 minutes of the end, the most important before y'all left, and I'm waiting for it to upload. For real? With this How iPhone. You do that? I was doing that like in four seconds. How you do that? I record, I screen record. All right, I'm going to leave all this live in July now. I've been on here long enough. Me too. Thank you for allowing me to be tuned in. Thank you. I hope y'all remember Only one way in and one way out. Why are you still talking about one way in and one way out? Look at this nice apartment building. One way in and one way out. I don't agree with me, but I like this building. They should have two ways in and two ways out. We can make it another way. Well, open this gate right here. We need to open the gate up some. But like that guy said, they feel real safe with security, armed um, security in this building, y'all. Yep. Yeah, they said that. All right. So I just was saying basically everything I said because we got to be about demonstrating something. Lisa got a 1030 appointment, so let me get out of here. Until next time, folks, thank you for sharing this. Share this video. Share this video. Share, share, share. Oh, the last mask, I know. I took it to Miss Flowers. That was a good mask, too. I mean, that was a good mask. That's all right. He deserved it. I gotta take Lisa to the doctors. I gotta take Lisa. Dr. Humphrey, see Dr. Humphrey? Did you talk to him?
to me. I ain't talking to my camera. Okay. Thank you, y'all. You're welcome. Okay, you need something. Call him. You talk to the trauma man? You need trauma response team? All right, she, she said she don't need trauma. In Bazemore, in Bazemore right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, in Bazemore. In Bazemore. Bazemore. And I'm already asking Governor Larry Hogan, you've already ignited the, watch, the National Guard. Now I'm telling you, Baltimore during this time needs to be under martial law. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. We are already under a partial shutdown. Feel what I'm saying? Because of the COVID-19 virus. What other, look, since Jack Young refuses to invite the governor in the city and allow him to put those additional 500,000 boots on the ground, then guess what? I'm asking, I'm continuing to allow this to all of us. WMAR. WMAR. Wow. WMAR. Not far away. Vehicle badges. I know, man. Well, sometimes you want those and sometimes you don't. Depends on where you're at. I know, right? I can imagine that too. I'm sorry, can't have um, you're gonna have to go in this room or um, save a lot has one. Yeah, so I'm telling you that we need stronger, greater, precise leadership, and I am that leader. It's not going to happen under this administration. It's just not. We have people now walking, walking. They're walking. This is my you got community. Every week. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you, know. Know. you ready? You ready to talk about the comments? If he, if he uh, wants me to, I don't want to. I'm getting it set up. I set up. I, well, I, I know. He know me. Oh, he know me. Okay. What's up, buddy? Hey, good to see you. How you been? I haven't seen you since off the road. No hands. Social distance. Social, Social distance. distance. No more than Social 10 distance. people, right? You ain't coughing, you ain't sneezing. No more than, no more than 10. <laughs> you ain't got yeah, fever. Look, you see me, right? Yeah. Look. None of that shit to slide. Yeah. You got it. Praise God. That's right. That's a good man. I haven't seen her in years. Yeah, yeah, to act like, oh, we're still in no, there's He's nothing charming about Baltimore City right now. There's nothing charming. Hey, Jeff, can I hear this? Nothing. It's a you want me to hold this for you? I can hold this for you now. Oh, man, no, we're always too kind. Oh, no, 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 no. I can hold that for you now. I know. you a complete stranger coming into Baltimore City and I followed you when God led me to you and I had a privy of meeting you and watched the work on the grounds of our city that you were doing and with 128 other people in your network I knew that that was a, a connection for purpose so Baltimore City 
for those individuals that don't understand under this administration, they could be doing so much more. They have the funding. They refuse to put funding on the ground here in Baltimore City. They act like they don't have a clue. They don't have a clue. This is my neighborhood. This is my neighborhood. So who are the this cameramen so, from? Well, this is Social Hills. This is who? This is the root of our Social Hills. That's okay. Dr. Humphrey of uh, the trauma I thought I, I thought I recognized Dr. Humphrey. Yeah. And what ready, What TV station is WMAR, that? WMAR, Channel 2. Okay, that's Channel 2. I'm going to say some things to Channel 2. Hopefully they'll let me speak. Because all of you need to understand that y'all have more than the so-called top Balances and all that stuff. This I'm running for mayor for purpose. I'm on the Republican card. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, but we're going to get a minute. This city needs better leadership. Can you tell her to be quiet for a minute? Oh, what? Yeah. Can you tell her to be quiet for a minute? Good. Can you take your hand? No, I'm not for the Bay is more. I'm running on the Republican card for mayor. I have been talking, I've been lobbying to Governor Hogan for the past Dr. eight months. I've been putting it out there. When I was interviewed by WBAL two weeks ago, they said, I see you're tough on crime. You're not going for the open market drug entrepreneurs. This has got to stop. Right now, we're in a crisis. Can we do it anyway? Well, I, that's, that's our friend. I don't want to offend the lady. I don't want to get in there for you. That's our friend. I don't know how to do that. See, this is what I'm saying, Baltimore City. Can you I let us sit the base more? Can I do this, Abel? This is my community. Can we do the I interview? Right up the street. I heard what? the rapid fire. Guys. Sister Baysmore, I can I we do the interview? I call 911. Y'all can finish it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Almost there for you, sir. And you just pop that up. I am good. Jeff, I'm good. Um, we've had so much violence. Are you surprised, that, especially in light of the fact that now we have a global scare, something that should be pulling everyone together, that we would still have this play out tonight? What, what were you doing? I was there last night. It's too light. You cannot just hear who they're putting out what was going on, police presence and everything. I gave the crime lab some time to do what they needed to do. And then I, I came back last night and uh, we helped. Oh, well, I'm sorry. It's just okay. It's just. I'm just going to clap on that. No, no, no. I got it. We're just going to ground that ball. No, we got it. That's, that's much better. I'm good. I'm still recording. Yeah, it's your anyway. Your thoughts on this? Well, I was here, like I said, last night. The commission stepped out. Now, guess what? I don't see but when they leave, I can't come on the scene. And, uh, I came back last night. Some of the uh, residents were upset because they couldn't get back into their places. And uh, the police officers uh, helped escort some of the residents back. But then I found out from some of the community leaders that. Uh, some of the police officers uh, perhaps was traumatized last night because of the things that were going on. They were trying to do their jobs. Some of the uh, residents were a little rowdy. So I came back this morning after getting the call from a good friend. I don't know if she wanted to say her name. She said, yes, I'll say her name. To come, Sister uh, Christine Flowers, who deals with the homeless, to come to talk to management to find out what we can do to uh, help ease this tension with the coronavirus that, the virus that doesn't help. The, the people in the panic mode. So we're here to uh, make the children feel safe. Some people have said uh, it didn't happen uh, inside the complex. For someone to have an assault or a rifle and shoot seven people and steal all the news, I'm pretty much concerned uh, about that myself. Never in my 63 years I've seen so many people get shot in groups. The highest one time was uh, I think it was 15 people, 12, 15, 9, 10. One person is too many. So uh, we have a lot of community leaders out here at my sister, uh, Sister Jacana, who deals with the, the children and the residents. 
whatever resources they need. I mean, um, food. Uh, wow. We can't so we can't pay everybody's gas. How did you want to yeah. get back? What's your we, name? We're not millionaires, but we just want the people to feel safe. Uh, these people, uh, management in this complex do a good job. And uh, we are being very uh, reachable. I talked, I spoke with both of the managers and also the lady that uh, we were coordinating. And she said they're going to have a conference call later on where they have crisis, uh, a crisis team and people on standby. And she told me she would let me know if she wanted to be in on that call. And if not, then uh, we'll come back and make an assessment and see what the needs are. Because, I mean, if I lived there, I, I know that I would be a little paranoid. Because uh, whatever happened, I mean, the government could come back. I mean, you were saying again, just because it's a little more quiet right now. You haven't seen one like this with the assault rifle? No. no. If you could elaborate on that a little bit more. Just... Well, in my 30 plus years, uh, I know that people can get their hands on regular handguns and you know, do what they need to do. But, um, I'm just hoping that and I'm not speaking for the police department because they have a spokesperson to speak for them. I'm speaking for the chief of the Baltimore Tribal Response Team, uh, someone that have uh, access to an assault weapon, MAC-10 or whatever it was. I'm just praying that they don't, it's not a military person uh, because uh, to use that in the crowd, uh, that's, that's very concerning. Did you hear anything that goes to what started? Was it was it a targeted thing where the guy showed up, or did this just evolve from some kind of just disagreement or, or well, beef? Well, one thing I can, I can say from these incidents, when people have disagreements with people nowadays, um, the the person that uh, they always uh, after attended, I mean the, the person that they want to target, if they're in the crowd, I mean they just shoot. They don't care who they hit. So, uh, you know, I can't surmise or just speculate what happened, but I can assure you that uh, this might have been an incident that happened somewhere else, and the person just may have to just be here at this, at this complex, and, uh, you know, uh, they get them where they can get them. Were there family members? Did you speak to any family members of the seven that were wounded? That's, that's my next step, uh, because of uh, HIPAA law. The managers uh, will not give uh, information about uh, who they are. But if they, if they, they weren't they, obvious out here last night. Uh, but, if, but, if, but if they come Hopkins way, I can find out who they are. Uh, whatever hospital they go to, if I get the information from a community leader, uh, someone like Sister Flowers or Father Wallace or whoever, then I can go, I can go as a clergy. And, and not as a chief of trauma response team. Just like a police officer gets shot. I can go to shot trauma and identify myself. You know, you know, they know who I am, being one of the longest chapters in East Baltimore. But I always come as, as a pastor and uh, the chief of Baltimore Very good. response team. Thank you, good. Thank you. Is it Reverend? Uh, it, it's it's Reverend Andre Humphrey. Doctor. 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 So I'm just going to get a couple shots just to you sure. guys in conversation. Mm -hmm. So what kind of services do you try to provide to people uh, on one side of those games? Uh, mental, 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 mental health services. Mm -hmm. uh, really Why were so many people gathered? No, it was the, the, they, the ones, they don't call Red. The food, food distribution. We were here last night. They don't call Red inside Transportation the Transportation to you, they need to come they to the hospital. Red outside of the uh, gates. Tokens, and that's where like the police that. officer yeah. engaged Long with them. Uh, outside the gates. I'm going to back up and just get a shot of it. Right How are you doing, sure. sister? Stay right they there for one second, if you don't mind. Sure. Watch mind you. Jeff, I'm just getting a wide shot. So the cop, well, was like the cop shooter. was shooting a pea shooter compared to that guy. So the whole thing that's investigating now is did the cop shoot anybody? That's what they were asking. Right. And when Commissioner Harrison was talking to us last night, it was fresh. Like we was here before they were here. So it's like the ambulance is still pulling off people and trying to figure out what was going on. What, what a main thing. So many people were standing around 
The main thing that people are concerned about is that they respect. Police gone. Jeff, I'm good. Is anybody else you like to? No, I think we're in good shape. Thank you. Let me get this uh, stuff. Thank you so much for us. I appreciate it. Good to see you again. <laughs> well, I remember. What's, what's he doing? I'm going to take me. I'm going to take me to the doctor's on Charles. She got ten thirty points. For real? I can ride with Miss Swanda. No, no, you drove. Yeah, no. <laughs> you made me drive. Mm. Yeah. Where are you going at? I'm gonna go to the office. Somebody donating a whole lot of stuff to the office. I heard. All right, I'm on my way to the office. Some guy on his way up there about to donate all kinds of stuff. I meet at the office. I need a space. I meet at the office. They say it's gonna overcrowd the office. Oh, I'll meet you at the office. Did you guys ever go home? Yeah. Did we ever go home? Hey, I was gonna say you were uh, here when I left, and you're here when I come back. Right. So. We uh, yeah. we like to. We like to see what's going on He's after doing. fact. After yeah, fact. you guys are here quick. People, yeah. people, it's like they need uh, trauma I told assistance. The guy the trauma. Is now. Yeah, he that's said, a big thing. Call he did, he did he for the trauma. Yeah, Doctor. That's how we was talking to you. The guy that we was talking to. He was like, he was glad they was outside because they got kids in there. Right. So we gonna, we gonna. So he said, what? I gave my card. I said, call him for Doctor Humphrey. Thank you, sir. Because I see Dr. Humphrey going as far as this. Oh, and Miss Flowers. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, Who am I? 365. This is a celebrity. Tell him that. He That's might Mr. not know. This is a celebrity can't tell him. I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I got to get. Let me get the back of your um, thing again. Okay. On the got. I got to get ready to take this lady to the hospital. This is a lady. Oh, no. I gotta make a run. I'll see you later. Thank you. All right, folks. All right, let me let me go. Thank y'all for joining me. Um, I'm out of here. I've been on the scene from nine until what time is it? Mm, Ten forty-eight. So that's. Almost two hours of non-stop recording. So a C, so a C. Dollar sign celebrity cab. So a C, dollar sign celebrity cab. I'm Larry Wallace reporting news live in Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore City, Maryland. Have a great day. So a C.